Good morning. Isn't the morning we expected? Our epic view is now gone. It's been raining since about 6 o'clock this morning. It's currently 39 degrees. Down to 37 last night. We've got a primarily rain mix with some snow and sleet. I think we're just going to hunker down right here rather than fold up the wet tent. I think we only have about a 10% chance of rain tomorrow, so get some editing done, get a little bit of work taken care of. I want to pop out the Darchi awning so that we can cook in the kitchen with a little bit of cover. So I'm starving. It's like 10.30. We've been just holed up in the tent all morning long. So let's get busy. <laughs> So you could say this is the, the sucky part about traveling full time is you don't always have beautiful weather and we've been blessed to have yeah. good weather. weather. This is only the third time we've been rained on since we started. I mean like since we moved into the Turtleback, mm -hmm. which is April 1st. But we got a propane fire going here underneath the Darchi awning. We've got coffee perking in the percolator. We're gonna have a little bit of eggs and some bagels. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, main thing today is just stay warm, stay dry. I'm gonna grab the laptop after we finish some breakfast and climb up in the tent and work on some editing so you guys can be entertained by our traveling antics a little bit more. Might as well take advantage of the day. Right, I mean, I mean, I could just lay around and nap all day. That might be fun. You'd get so bored. <laughs> I'm already bored, I'm already like <laughs> Let me film this, and you should do yeah. that, and we should do this, and this is the next big idea. <laughs> Can't help it. Can't help it. So maybe we can get a little dry out this afternoon. I think the weather's supposed to improve. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, like in the 60s tomorrow. Yeah. Where were we at the beach? Um, late April, right? Yeah, end of April. Yeah. Feels like forever ago. Oh, I know. So I almost don't remember what above 80 degrees feels like. No. Because it's been... It's been pleasant. Cool it's been weather. perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Not this so much, but yeah. But I'm telling myself that get used to this because it potentially could be like this three days yeah. out of the week or yeah. more. It, it could be. Oh yeah. So that's our update. Nothing incredible to see here. I was hoping to get some more drone footage of us packing up and driving out, but I guess we'll wait and try that again tomorrow. Let's get some breakfast, get some work done, and maybe tomorrow we'll get back at traveling across the Canadian border. That's going to be interesting.
Good. He's busting the egg yolk. Man. We're eating lots and lots of fruit because we stocked up without thinking about crossing the Canadian border. They don't like fruit up there, apparently. All right, we've got sunshine. Ah, finally. Thank goodness. It's been a dreary couple of days, but now we're uh, we're looking at a beautiful day. So we're gonna go find another little spot, and uh, tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is Canada. Oh, eh? Canada. <laughs> but man, oh, what a beautiful place. This is just amazing. <laughs> Montana is beautiful. I just want to stay here by your side. I'm falling, still falling for you. So what was the verdict? Uh, not amazing, but good enough. Not bad for a roadside burger. Just a good old fashioned hamburger. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you need. My the Huckleberry Did hole. you like your hamburger? It's really called that. Is it? Is it the Huckleberry Hole? It's Huckleberry I need something. The, I need your keys because I guess mine are up in the tent. Oh, go get them. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right, let's get some navigation going on here. You guys wanna see what I'm working with? We got the cockpit here. We got diagnostics, navigation, communication. So we have made our way to what's called, I think it's the Kuntai, Kunta National Forest. This is just outside of Eureka, Montana. We're set up in a it's an interesting little campsite here. It's not really called a campground, it's just a camping area. This is actually a historic site where there was a basically a, a guardhouse for 
the way I understand it, it was for the forestry service and that people would stay here during fire season to kind of help protect the wilderness and stuff. Like entire families used to live in this area. And then in 1966, they came in and bulldozed all the facilities and stuff and just made this little camping area here. There's, there's a bear box. There used to be another bear box over there, a couple fire rings, two picnic tables and a bathroom, which is nice. Um, and it's right on a stream, although I haven't figured out how to get down to the stream yet because it looks like they've had a lot of storm damage. That sound, by the way, that's Sarah vacuuming out the tent. It was getting kind of grody, so it was time. A little bit of dirt and mud from the last couple days of nastiness. So, so anyhow, we're going to set up camp, get a little bit of bite to eat, and do our final preparations for the border crossing. We just need to check off all the little things make sure that we're 100% uh, legal and have everything put in this proper place for the crossing and anything that we're supposed to declare we can declare it so let's do it let's find a gas station first there's an x on right there so this morning has been dedicated to preparing for the border crossing getting the last few things taken care of Prescription medicines accounted for, documentation for that, um, just all the little things, fruits, meats, anything that we need to have accounted for before we uh, cross the border. So now we're actually looking for a car wash because we've heard rumor and their website says that dirt is a big issue so if you come in with a super muddy vehicle they can turn you around and while we are not filthy no we are by no means clean so we just go straight across just increase our odds a little bit we want to look like we really genuinely yeah. care got my button-up shirt on the day we put on deodorant i haven't yet i got to put on <laughs> <laughs> yes please do there's a gateway car wash and storage and auto shine detail shop. So probably the gateway. Okay. All right, we are in line. You okay? Yeah, my glasses just get a lot of glare. Look. Yeah. We are in line for the border crossing. Getting pretty excited, just a little bit nervous. We've been crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sure that we had everything the way it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh! My 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 doggy got bigger. Now he's a grown up, and now he now we got unlocked. Awesome! <laughs> Hopefully, we breeze right through. You know, the only concern right now is some of the items that we can get a lot of good information on like the camp knives and then our fruits and vegetables and meats I mean obviously that's all up for review once we get get through here yeah and luckily we don't have that much so if we if they just told us we had to throw it away or turn around and right. leave right. then it won't hurt my feelings to throw it away yeah and then the other thing is the shotgun I mean I've got all the documentation here I've, I've followed every step that I'm supposed to take I even called them to make sure that we were on the right track all right so we'll see you guys on the other side hopefully if not we'll be locked up in a canadian jail or something <laughs> i don't think that that's gonna happen if anything we'll just get told we can't go in yeah all right here we go We we are in Canada. That was easy. That border crossing was just a piece of cake. Nothing like the stories we've heard. No. Got all worked up for nothing. You did. Did a lot of extra prep for nothing. I'm a stickler when it comes to stuff like that. And you should be. I mean, there's some big implications if you get it wrong. Yep. And so, we'll... uh We'll go into a detailed list of some of the things that we did and prepped and studied and share that with you guys at some point. But now it's time to go find camp. Um, I've not done a lot of research for camping in Canada. 
apparently there's a lot of public land but uh, I'm still learning on how to how to figure out where where to find it um, and what's legal and things like that so we get a learning curve ahead of us again that's the downside of flying by the seat of your pants so anyhow let's go north let's go Looks a lot like uh, Montana right now. Thought there'd be more maple trees. My goodness, look at this. This is incredible. We did quite a bit of driving to find this spot. There's a lot of logging roads, forest service roads, and what they call the crown, crown land, land of the crown, King's Landing, something like that. Very similar to our forestry service back home and public lands this is awesome really impressed with the border crossing today that went very very smooth a lot of my fears are unfounded but uh, you know it just depends luck of the draw sometimes whether you're going to get searched to the nth degree or just get waved on through so it's all worked in our favor this go around so now we're having to figure out a whole new system for determining legal camping areas and stuff like that so I think we're going to go and plop down on uh, some Wi-Fi. That's some mean mosquitoes. Ooh, and I've got bug spray on. So we're going to go find some Wi-Fi tomorrow and kind of put together a little bit of a game plan. Because again, this is all seat of the pants, spur of the moment kind of kind of stuff. So I've got a whole new system that I need to figure out for for routing our, our travels. But anyhow, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to say one more thing about Canada. This is awesome. This is so cool. Let's go have some homemade chicken noodle soup made by our famous chef, Sarah. And get a little bit of sleep and get an early start. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> 